And we have good confirmation there that the second stage is now full of locks, which means that Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. You can see that the booster is covered in a good amount of soot, and that's because it has nine flights under its belt, having previously taken multiple trips to the ISS with two CRS missions, two crew missions, in addition to supporting the Turksat 5B, Beetlesat Hotbird 13G, Empower A, and two back-to-back -back Starlink missions. After liftoff and stage separation, the booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, which is currently located off the Florida coast in the Atlantic Ocean. We just heard that the flight computers have taken over the countdown and the rocket is now on internal power. In a few seconds, we should hear confirmation from the launch director. Okay, folks, we're at about one minute before launch. Got to keep this area clear. So again, assume your final position. If you're standing, stay standing. If you're sitting, stay sitting. We want to be courteous to the guests that have been here for quite some time. Again, the area between the fence line and the bleachers has to be clear. It's an emergency evacuation area. The path between the bleachers has to remain clear. It's an emergency evacuation area. I right, stand by. Recognition. Okay, we should be wow. picking up the sound in about 10 seconds. Eagles pitching down range. Wow. Wow. You're sitting right now, we're going through a part of the atmosphere called the thermocline. There's a big temperature difference in that area, that's why you see that smoke. It'll disappear in just a few seconds. Max Q. And there okay, you just, just the passing through Max Q or maximum dynamic pressure. That is the area where the greatest amount of pressure is on the vehicle. You can see we pass through the thermocline, you can just see the orange flame. This uh, first stage will continue to burn. Our main engine will cut off at 2 minutes 27 seconds in. The stages will separate 4 seconds later. The second stage igniting at 2 minutes and 37 seconds. We're now about 1 minute away from a series of events. Miko, Stage Sub, SES-1, and Fairing Separation. Miko, or main engine cutoff, is when all 9 of the Merlin engines on the first stage shut down. Stage, stage separation is when the first and second stages separate from one another. SES-1, or second engine start 1, is where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And fairing separation is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. Now, if Keep you look at, at the video screen right now, you'll be very shortly seeing a view from the onboard cameras aboard the Falcon 9 rocket looking down. Then you'll have a split screen. On one half of the screen, you'll see the second stage engine firing. On the other half, you'll see the first stage beginning its descent uh, to land on the landing craft, a shortfall of gravitas. So uh, keep watching that display screen. Stay advised for a few minutes. There you go. On the uh, right is the second stage. On the left is the first stage on its way back. So you see the second stage engine will ignite the second you'll see it turning very orange. We'll be coming up shortly on fairing separation. And on the... Uh, there's a fairing separating on the right-hand side, so that's the nose cone. So the 56 Starlink spacecraft are now exposed there, we just to space. Heard, saw those two okay, back on the right-hand side, the that stage. orange glow the is the second stage engine mission, firing. Proven, on the left side, you're going to be seeing the first the stage seven. returning we'll back to, to Earth. We'll be to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Duck. Now this uh, burn of the second stage 
Should take about six minutes, three seconds. On the left-hand side, again, you're going to be watching the Earth get bigger and Just bigger as, reminder, as the, the vehicle is coming back down. On the left-hand side of screen is the Falcon 9 first stage. And on the right is the MBAC ignition that you can see glowing bright orange as it's carrying our Starlink satellites to their desired orbit. Now you see on that left-hand side, you'll see some flashes. We also just heard a call out and that stage one and stage the corrections two that are being made by the vehicle itself Currently on its way back down its way back to land on the landing craft, the short form of Gravitas. The that landing craft about 410 the miles stage away. The is continue its burn, which will last for another five minutes or so. Now as the uh, vehicle continues uh, to descend into the atmosphere, uh, the cameras are on for the entire period. There's also a camera uh, located close to the the, the uh, fairing, or should say the uh, a short fall of gravitas, the recovery ship. You should be able to see the landing of the booster again on the left side of the screen. You'll see those occasional puffs of smoke, and you'll see the engines ignite. For those of you who are just joining us, uh, to slow we the vehicle down as it approaches the landing craft. Eastern time from Slick 40. Today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 219th mission overall and 20th mission just this year. Still have about uh, three minutes or so before landing. You can see some of those correction burns being made. Also, pretty much at the, uh, say, the 11 o'clock position or so on the left-hand screen, you can see what they call the grid fin. They help steer the rocket. There's four of those positioned about 90 degrees apart. If you go back to the, the uh, visitor center into the gateway building, you'll see the Falcon 9 booster that helped propel Elon Musk's screen, car into space. The speed and altitude of both the first and second stages. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Today, about two we're minutes down to landing. To see the Earth are coming up a lot quicker now on the left-hand side. You'll see a long landing burn coming up. That the landing burn about eight minutes five seconds into the flight. You'll see it glow a bright orange. And that landing burn will be about uh, 20 seconds or so before the landing. So again, the right-hand side is a camera looking at the second stage continuing to burn. <laughs> and there's the entry burn you can see on the left-hand side. We're slowing the vehicle up as it's approaching the ship. Stage one entry burn. Stage one, which we also call the booster, has relit three of its engines. And We're standing by for the landing, it should occur very shortly. So stand by, we've got about another 20 seconds or so before we land on the ship. Again, that will be on the left hand side. The first stage used to launch our 56 Starlink satellites into space today is flying for its 10th time, having supported two CRS missions, two crew missions, Turks at 5B. Utilsat Hotbird 13G, Empower A, and two Starlink missions. We have one more burn coming up on the first stage, which is the landing burn, and should be coming up in about one minute. So again, the, the final landing burn about a minute from now, about 20 seconds or so after that landing burn, will be the actual landing itself. Okay, uh, stage one stage on its way back down to the atmosphere just had a sonic boom. Coming up next, and those booms about 400 miles away from us. About 15 seconds from now. We're about 15 seconds away from the final burn. So again, look at the left-hand side of the screen. You'll see the three engines on the first stage light up. That'll be the final braking maneuver before we land on the ship. So standing by for that. About 20 seconds after you see that, we should see the landing itself. You see some clouds coming up. The landing bird's underway. And there's confirmation there's the landing that the stage one landing bird has started in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship. A shortfall of gravitas. 
Okay, you see the uh, ship right there, waiting to land on the bullseye on the ship. And the right hand side should show the booster on the ship, and there we are. Okay, so we're just going to stay for a couple more seconds uh, when the second stage shuts down. And uh, that should be coming up uh, just about five seconds or so from now. And we just had the shutdown of the second stage. I want to thank all of you for visiting us here today. Hope you enjoyed the launch. Have a great time here, a safe trip home. Come back again and we'll do launch. That's going to wrap up our coverage for today.